Welcome back technology lovers, we got a special TV box for you today, it's the new Android 6.0.1, it's the MX Pro, the TV box from MX Pro. Well, it's a little bit different between MX Normal and MX Pro because it has 64 bits processor, it can decode uh, H.265, it's a little bit better, but this new Android I tested, I tested for you guys. I even, and uh, this is kind of interesting, I even uh, succeed to connect a 3G dongle because I didn't see anywhere on the internet. So I had a little bit trouble connecting this dongle. It's best to connect a 4G dongle, I don't have yet. But for you guys, if you don't have a connection and you want to use a 3G dongle with these boxes, yes, you can but but there are some some problems we will get to that okay you have cody in this uh, android uh, box and let's make an unboxing to see what's inside the box uh, this guide it's uninteresting here is the mx pro inside the box the producer give us the remote control the charger and a European, for example, adapter and the HDMI cable. That's all there is inside the box. Now, for best results, guys, um, this remote control will not help you. It's best to bring a mouse or I have a better idea. We have a review for this mini keyboard with backlight. It's a great keyboard that will help you uh, surf around you have a lot a lot of buttons and uh, you can use them for functions you have show desktop for example so to use show desktop you got to install some applications I will show you I uh, installed some kind of uh, Android desktop to work a little better like in tablets because you know it comes with its own operating system and I don't I simply don't like it Guys, to cut to the chase, here's the Android box. It has four USB connectors. We've got an audio port and an audio video out port and of course the HDMI that supports 4K. The Ethernet is used for uh, connecting yourself by PPPoE and this protocol you can connect it to, through your uh, LAN wire inside your house and already connected like you connect all regular routers and here is the power okay guys for the more you got a SD card to use it it has round corners and it has rubber on the back uh, here it you will not see it but it's a LED a blue LED that will turn on uh, we will uh, count the starting time of this Android TV box will connect it to the TV and talk for the more so guys a little specifications for this TV box uh, it doesn't tell you how is the processor well it's a quad core processor that supports uh, up to 2 gigahertz and the GPU is RRM Mali 450 GPU up to 7 uh, and 50 megahertz 750 megahertz and OpenGL 2.0 it has 8 giga of storage 1 giga ddr 3 of SDRAM it's Android I told you 6.0.1 guys be careful it doesn't have Bluetooth uh, it has only Wi-Fi integrated in 2.4 gigahertz and uh, the HDMI is 2.0 even at uh, 1.4 and 2.0 maximum uh, 60 frames per second at 4k so now guys let's see and count we started the android let's start the clock i got to tell you i installed a couple of programs and made some testing so the performance is not downgraded but the you know when uh, you install a lot of application the system will boot with a little uh, more seconds than usual Yes, it's 47 seconds, um, the boot time, but I got to tell you guys that I obtained 
32 seconds when the system and uh, the application were not installed. In the settings you will have the network. We'll, uh, I want to show you the settings just to make an opinion. The Wi-Fi net, the uh, Wi-Fi, uh, and it's connected to, to the Wi-Fi, or you can connect it by internet from uh, it's an application PPPoE. You got these two choices. This is kind of uh, the short, the short settings menu in the display but the short setting menu you, you can uh, choose the resolution that you will not have in the that uh, classical menu and you can put here the resolution for example you can uh, uh, for example you can auto switch and deep uh, use deep color the screen position I, I see I uh, let's zoom out a little bit because I saw the, the icons are not uh, fitting the screen you have a screen rotation in uh, mode hdr <laughs> the applications uh, it will show you all your application the storage and the factory reset what i uh, i made a couple of factory resets i you will not lose the mirror cast the mirror cast is the screen mirroring for example if you want to mirror your phone exactly your screen of the phone you can mirror it with uh, with this uh, TV box without any problems and um, for example with other Android let's let's say with car DVD quad core navigations for Volkswagen or uh, Skoda uh, if you reset it you will lose the screen mirroring in this case you will not lose it what box has an icon in the daytime you got to turn off the automatic daytime because uh, it's a kind of bug you will remember 2015 the year 2015 and uh, you will get some troubles open up uh, the applications uh, in internet for you to not having problems with these applications it's uh, best to turn off the automatic date Time. and this is the trick guys the application will work if the system will gain the normal date and time and and um, here's a hint if the Android will start with uh, uh, the wrong date and time wait a little bit when you set it to off wait a little bit and it will generate the right date and time you got to wait I don't know 30 seconds to one minute you can set the language, you can uh, set up the, the keyboard. Um, this is the important thing. Uh, I put it to from suspend. I put it to shut down, to completely shut down the box. But you can put it to suspend and resume and it will resume instantly when you close it. Okay, the, the accessibility you have some features but are light features here. To more settings you will gain the classical menu. And here you have a lot, uh, a lot of functions. For example, you will find to the Wi-Fi, even uh, at the advanced, you have Wi-Fi Direct. And it's a catch if you want to transfer with your mobile phone uh, some videos uh, or audio. You cannot. I don't know why these Android boxes, Chinese boxes, or Chinese navigations don't permit you to send by Bluetooth or uh, by Wi-Fi. We got a tutorial how to send um, to uh, navigation quad core MP3s or videos or uh, all kinds of files and you can check that out. Even you have for this one a portable hotspot but really a portable hotspot it didn't make this a box for frigid dongle because you'll have problems uh, with the frigid dongles and they made a, a portable hotspot come on you can set uh, the display the location and i recommend you if you're using uh, the gps it has gps you got to put in in high accuracy for example guys will uh, put this android box to a OD car to a 2g uh, mmi and uh, we'll set up so subscribe that button guys because it will be an interesting tutorial and review furthermore guys the menu it's the same as any android menu 
at the display uh, you have some uh, options you can change the wallpaper and um, I want to tell you something interesting you cannot put a widget you cannot go and look for the widgets in this menu so my point is i installed and installed i i will not take you and uh, show you how to install i already installed the application guys to save you the time so guys we have the google now launcher this launcher will help you make a decent desktop and this is the trick if you hold the the left mouse button you will have the widget and here guys and let me show you because this is the interesting part all the application i'm not going to show you all the application because it's uh, pointless uh, i'm going to show you a brief of the application i've installed this is the uh, the good trick here you can install from google play for example this ppp uh, software and uh, let me show you because this is uh, the tricky part so guys go in google play for connecting a 3d dongle and write ppp i don't know widget look ppp widget so you have three widgets install the ppp widget 2 i already installed it and now the secret to connect it is to hold left button you have the widgets here and go and search for the ppp widget it's checking our address dialing out it automatically recognizes the dongle if you see the dongle uh, it's a small light there it's connected but you got to make some configurations don't put anything in password leave it like blank only here access point name and profile name for example i mean dg rds rts and at the dining stream we have star 99 ds okay um it connects it i can browse oh, wait a little second so it connects i can browse the internet in the browser but i have some problems in the applications for example i want to use this in my car and i want to use it with waze sometimes when i restart it it connects in the application sometimes it doesn't so this is the problem to this android boxes let's say new york i want to go in new york work with the car yes now it sees the application sometimes when I auto restart it and it auto connects or manual connects it doesn't work the all the application for example the YouTube it doesn't uh, it doesn't work the YouTube application doesn't work with dongle with 3g dongle i'm curious with 4g dongles guys if you have a solution or a tip for this leave a comment in the box it's interesting because some application will not will not work so guys i connected the phone it's working great uh, miracast is really really good share cloud will connect to your hotspot of your phone uh, or um, don't enable anything just put the share cloud on your phone and share cloud on this android box and open both you will connect we have a tutorial for share cloud and the uh, android car quad core navigation see there how it works we have another video so see there how it works and uh, this is the way to share music and uh, video files now guys i connected the uh, external hard drive and uh, let's see just to play some 4k content so this is a 4k clip uh, it's a demo you've seen it before it's working very very smooth it's working incredible smooth it's uh, at 60 megabytes per second it's H264 running at uh, 30 frames per second. 
Now guys, I will install a benchmark just for you to see the performance, but you got to pay attention that I install a lot of applications and uh, uh, the performance will be a little bit lower. So guys, the score is 24,095. Well, it's a good score, but it can be improved and it's best to install fresh the benchmarks when you just receive the unit to see uh, to see exactly like uh, what is the score and not with uh, a lot of application installed on it. I want to show you Asphalt Nitro for example. It's a game, it uh, looks great on the TV. I, uh, I can't believe how good are the quality of the video is. Um, even the processor in the GPU, it's great. Uh, I've been installing, for example, uh, the Real Racing 3, and it's uh, the graphics are awesome. For games, guys, you got to buy yourself a wireless keyboard. I hope uh, you like this review, I hope you like uh, this Android box because it's a cheap Android box that will uh, bring you a PC in your home, like, it's like a PC. Um, I hope you like uh, our tricks, uh, so subscribe guys because we have a lot of a lot of ideas and we'll have a lot of tutorials and reviews and we'll teach you everything uh, there is in matter of technology. Subscribe that button, don't forget to subscribe it. If you have a question, we'll try to help you. And please thumbs up for uh, this Android box. We are iTechnology Reviews. You got to love technology because technology is part of our lives. Have a great day, guys. Thumbs up. Bye.